So I'm outside today with Dwindwin because I've made an AR fox and I want to take him outside to play with me and Dwindwin. But my problem is this fox keeps flying. He's not a magic fox. He's a normal fox. He should be on the ground. But sometimes he's flying up here. Sometimes he's in the ground. So we need plane tracking. Nick, please help us. Show us plane tracking, how we can get our fox on the ground so he can be with Dwindwin. All right, Nick, take it away. Show us plane tracking. Come on. Hello, everyone. My name is Kanish Kubewarna, also known as Nick. Today's tutorial is about the plane detector. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use the plane detector function that has provided by the NRSDK and make your own app. Without wasting any time, let's get into it. As you can see, I have already installed my NRSDK and I have already configured my project to work on the Unreal headset. And if you have any question regarding installation and configuration, please check out previous videos. Also, I have an asset called ToonFox from Pixel Tiger from the Unity Asset Store. It's a free asset and I'll be using this asset for my project. Before starting our project, let's go to NRSDK folder under the demos. There is a scene called Hello MR. So we will be using this NR camera rig, NR input, and then we are going to be using the plane detector. Inside the plane detector, there is a script called plane detector, hello MR controller, and ensure slam tracking mode. We will be using these scripts on our own app. Let's open up a new scene. And I'm going to go to my NR SDK under the prefabs. I'm going to take the NR input and NR camera rig. I'm going to delete my main camera. And here I'm going to go back to my NAR SDK under the demos. I'm going to open up the Hello MR and they're going to ask me to save my scene. So I'm going to save it under scene. I'm going to call it Fox scene. I'm going to copy and paste the plane detector from my Hello MR. I'm going to go back to my scene again. And I'm going to paste it here. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a session config. I can make it inside the NR SDK. It doesn't matter where you put it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to create NR SDK session config. I can rename this. I'm going to rename this NR plane config. I'm going to change these settings. So for this tutorial, I'm only going to need the plane finding mode. I'm going to change this from disable to both. For others, I don't need to change anything right now because I'm not going to do any image tracking here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to camera rig and I'm going to drag this new session into my session config. So right now, we need to change our plane prefab. If I go to this mascot, as you can see, the center point of the model is on the bottom. This is really important when you're making your own model. So make sure your own model pivot point is going to be on the bottom of your model. First, let's go to my fox. I'm going to go to prefabs. There is a fox prefab here. I'm going to drag and drop him here to check how the model looks like. So the good thing about this model is it's already its pivot point is already on the bottom. So if I press play. I can I can't see properly, so I need to make my fox smaller. So as you can see right now, he, he's having a lot of animations. I don't need that much of animation right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this model and I'm going to take this prefab and I'm going to unpack it completely.
I'm going to rotate him. And I'm going to go to the animator. Inside the animator, you can see there are a lot of animations here. So it's better I make a new animator here. I'm going to make a new folder. We call it anim. And I'm going to make a new animator controller. So here I'm going to give like fox idle. Then I'll go to my fox. Inside the fox there is a controller. I'm going to replace the controller with the one I made. And then I'm going to add another animation here. So I'm going to go to my fox folder. Animations. I'm going to take the fox idle. And if I go to the scene view, if I play it, you can see the idle animation. I'm going to take the fox and make it smaller. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a prefab out of this fox. So I'm going to make a new folder called prefabs. And I'm going to open it up and I'm going to drag this fox into my prefab folder. You don't need the fox in your hierarchy anymore. You can delete it. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my plane detector and I'm going to change the mascot into the fox that I already made. If I go to my plane detector inside this script, you can see like there are like help URL and how this script works. And this script is detecting the plane. And after detecting the plane, it's going to use the hello MR controller. So in here, they are taking the game object prefab and it's going to incentivate it on the hit point. So the hit point is going to be the going to be determined by the plane detector. Right now I have already set up my project. Now only thing I have to do is to build this app for my Unreal headset. To do that I'm going to go to file, build settings. I'm going to go to player settings and change the name. Then I'm going to close it. Then I'm going to press build. As you can see, it's really easy to use the plane detector in NRSDK. To check your project, you have to build it and check it through your Unreal headset. And then you can confirm whether your project is working or not. And I'm going to show you how my app going to work inside the Unreal headset. As you can see, I'm wearing my Unreal glasses. And you can see if I use my phone controller to press on the trigger button, I'm going to incentivate a fox. If I want to do another one, I'm going to click again. Thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope you guys do awesome apps. If you have any questions, you can write it on the comment section. And I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye.